Well, the woman identified herself as a family member of the man who was shot and killed. Clearly, all of this chaos has left many on edge, including that entire neighborhood. Action 7 News reporter Matt Howerton spoke with some of the people close to the violence who are shocked that this happened. Matt. Royal neighbors have been in and out of their homes all night, talking with each other, talking with police, trying to understand why all of this happened. I moved to the neighborhood a couple months ago and I didn't expect something like this. This neighborhood is getting worse for the minute, you know. Red and blue flashing lights bounced off the homes of many in this southeast Albuquerque neighborhood after an Albuquerque police officer shot and killed the suspect this afternoon. Yeah, exactly. Pop. Pop, pop, pop. So you think there was a few, several? Sounds like, like I said, maybe three to five. Many neighbors say they heard the gunfire. Maria Trujillo says she was sleeping when it woke her up. I heard some gunshots and I'm real easy, you know, to wake up. So I ran over here and there was cops coming back and forth and everything. And I seen a body there. Yellow tape blocked off several streets as more and more police arrived to investigate. People living here saw their neighborhood turn into a crime scene in minutes. I was surprised because, um, again, I, this is... I didn't think part of part of this neighborhood. I know it's common in Albuquerque, but I didn't think it was common here. One neighbor told us this isn't a surprise to him. There's a whole lot of illegal activity that's in this neighborhood, but um, and it needs to be addressed. And as the night fell, the flashing lights continued, a reminder of today's chaos before folks headed to their beds. Investigators here are far from finished. Neighbors tell us that they're digging in tonight for the long haul. In Albuquerque, Matt Howardson, KOAT, Action 7 News.